Okay, what I thought I would do is to do a follow-on to uh, wind power math number two and come up with wind power math number three, which is taking the formula we just derived in wind power math number two, which calculates the coefficient of performance based on the rated power in watts that you can read on the data sheet, the diameter of the rotor of the wind turbine in inches, and then the velocity, the rated wind speed stated in miles per hour. I wanted to take that basic formula, which is handy to have, and come up with one that's more practical. The question most people have is how much power am I going to get out of this thing in kilowatt hours in a year? And they usually know what their average wind speed, or that's fairly easy to derive and they know what the rotor diameter is for the turbine that they have or are considering buying. And so using these two factors, can I feed that into this equation and come up with a number for kilowatt hours per year? I think I can. <coughs> it's actually fairly simple. Kind of two things we need to do. One is take this coefficient of performance and just make an assumption that it's around 35 percent at these uh, average wind speeds which is targeted by most manufacturers. The, uh, as I've shown in my other videos how to take raw data and generate a power curve that also has the efficiency over wind speed plotted on it that you can find out that Kind of the target people shoot for is around a 35% coefficient of performance. So we'll use that up in the equation as a new constant. And then <clears throat> since we want to solve for power, we also need to rearrange the uh, equation so that we're solving for power. So we'll kind of do both of those in one step here. So we'll put the power on the left. With, uh, and then take all the other terms and drop them down to the other side and uh, introduce this 35 percent for the coefficient of performance and so since I got a constant on the top, constant on the bottom, I can divide that out come up with this new simplified form power point zero 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 nine seven diameter in inches of the rotor squared velocity of the wind speed in miles per hour cube. <coughs> now, so this is this gives us just a basic constant power number. I want to really do it in kilowatt hours per year. So well we know that a year has eighty seven hundred and sixty hours, which is just basically twenty four hours a day times thirty uh, days in a month. Or you can say uh, 24 hours a day times 365 uh, days in a year it comes up with that 8760. So if I put that in here as just taking this factor, and then it now it comes down to this basic final equation: the annual power is 0.085 d squared v cubed. Pretty simple. So let's take an example of our Bergy unit that we had on the last lesson and look at what it would do at 12 miles per hour. So we'll take the basic formula, put in the diameter of the rotor, which is 98.4 inches, the velocity of the wind, which is this 12 miles an hour, multiply it out, and it comes out. <coughs> 1,422,174 watts, which is 1,422 kilowatt hours in a year. So that's really what I was trying to uh, come up with an answer. So that's that saying, if you have a Bergy unit and you have 12 mile an hour average wind, it'll generate 1,422 kilowatt hours in a year, assuming your uh, installation is uh, compatible with this this 12 mile per hour condition. 
So if I just want to say, okay, that's fine to have it in a year, what's it in, in a month, power in a month, just divide by 12. This will tell you how much it will probably come off of your electric bill if you're using it for a grid type system. And then if you just divide it by number of hours in a month, <coughs> this will tell you how many watts that this tournament would generate basically on a continuous basis or the equivalent of that. So you can tell, the, turns out the Burgi unit is a one kilowatt unit rated at 26 Point four miles an hour, but on average through the year at 12 miles an hour, it's going to just be generating 164 watts continuously. So you can, you know, this, this is probably a not too far off from a common ratio. Take the rated power of the turbine and divide by about six, and you'll come up with what the continuous power of the turbine will be on an ongoing basis. So anyway, uh, my next video will show how we can use this to put some other things together.